hello, hello. So I wasn't really gonna vlog today, but I do have something like on my mind. I'm sure food is the last thing on your mind. I know it's I have had some people ask me why don't I go to like Mexico to get weight loss surgery and the answer is pretty easy. I am following someone's journey on YouTube who went to Mexico to get their surgery done and there was like not many requirements like no therapy nothing and now they're struggling with like being afraid of food because they didn't have like the requirements of therapy beforehand which now that I've started therapy and I've talked more to my psychologist because I don't want to get my surgery and be afraid of food. Now that I understand more of the reasoning behind it, it makes sense. And I, uh, it just seems so unhealthy to me when getting weight loss surgery is supposed to be like a pivotal moment in your life that is healthy and good things will be coming from that. That I kind of just wanted to answer because you literally just go to Mexico and I know you do like a little bit of lab work and stuff like that. And that's pretty much it. Like, Approved. Like therapy isn't required. To work on your past trauma isn't required. To work on your food issue issues isn't required. And I just find that to be strange. And because you know the reason why we need weight loss surgery to begin with is because we have problems with food. And I don't want to go into surgery or get out of surgery and be afraid of food. That sounds scary to me. Um, it sounds like setting yourself up for failure type style. I feel like um, getting it here in the USA, unfortunately, the process is longer, is more expensive, but that process is going to make you be successful. And I could talk a lot more about this. I, I feel like going to Mexico for someone who is like a food addict um, is probably a bad idea. Like I understand that sometimes, you know, you have to do what works best for you. And since it is cheaper in Mexico, I understand why people choose that. But the more I learn, about weight loss surgery and the things required to get it here in the USA, like it makes sense, it adds up. I truly feel like after weight loss surgery, if you're afraid of food, that you're going to eat that food. I don't wanna be put in that position. Then you didn't put enough work in yourself before surgery. And that is why I'm going to therapy now. Um, I know after surgery, it's gonna be really hard. Therapy is still gonna be needed. It's like getting, for me and how I feel, getting weight loss surgery in Mexico is like throwing someone who's never been around lions and tigers into a cage with them. Um, but then doing it with the requirements, the therapy beforehand is like you actually become a trainer for those tigers and those lions. The reason why I would not get weight loss surgery in Mexico, I just know that this feels more safe and more healthy and the right way for me to do it is to do it here in the USA. Okay guys, so I have, I'm gonna take those out because they just died. <laughs> the little, I have a little bit of a Amazon haul. I know some people wonder like, why do you do Amazon? Well, why don't you just like go to the store? I'm bed bound and dying. <laughs> My girlfriend is working majority of the day. Like she's already explained to me, like she wants to be in a relationship with me. She just wants, like, <laughs> I don't want to give too much of her business out, but, but she, <laughs> she doesn't want to date other people. Just, <laughs> you know, okay. It is what it is. Trust me, I'm totally fine with what we've agreed to. Um, I could take an Uber, but the Uber to even get to the store 20 30 dollars so i save money doing it this way anyways it's just like a little sprayer for your hair um there is a little hairstyle i want to do where it says like make sure it's like damp like spray it with some water next thing is i got some of this um they're insertable plastic dividers and they're like lace looking they're so cute um they're actually all different i actually just a few days ago started a class online i have been doing a lot of writing for it and i'm just following the instructions that they say but i didn't have certain things that i also needed so next bag i got some maxi dresses so here is a gray one literally just gray got a like snake bite one i used to have snake bites if you can see the dots. Damn, I look rough in this view. <laughs> no, I'm not putting that. I'm not putting that. We just made love. Maybe I'll put that. <laughs> this is cute. I really hope that they fit. Next box. So this is a binder. It's also what I needed for class last but not least i do notice that something is missing i got three maxi dresses and i only have two so last but not least i got some gel pens so 
So I am a little disappointed because the binder is broke right here. Um, it's not too bad. So I was adding all of my paper and the stuff, you know, I've already done and stuff. I realized it's also broke pretty bad right here. It's okay. It's okay. So I think this is like the first binder I've ever bought off of Amazon. So I don't think I'll ever be doing that again. So this was sent to me by a subscriber and I actually got the gel pens specifically to color. Maybe Feline can color too. That's neat. Alrighty, so I finished. I wanted to do this one like super colorful, no theme. And then I noticed in the gel pens, there's these ones that like are several different colors. Anxiety attack, mental distress. I'm just getting ready for bed. Um, I suffer with pretty bad panic attacks. Uh, as you can tell, my eyes are swollen. I'm like super red. <laughs> yeah, that happened and it ruined my night. My goal is to be more transparent and vulnerable and i had a panic attack um, yeah i think that's the worst one i've had in a very long time mine usually consists of massive hyperventilating that was like the main big one for me but this one which you know this used to happen back when i was like 18 19 when my panic attacks first started i struggle really bad with anxiety i started getting anxiety when i was around 18 i'd have really bad panic attacks i'd be like just in a state of paralysis with my panic attack like i've gone to the hospital several times because because of it like my body does not know how to react and my jaw like it doesn't lock up but it clenches so bad that i just can't even move my mouth and i'm like hyperventilating and drooling um this is really hard for me to talk about to be honest <laughs> Like, I don't talk about this a lot because it's just something I don't really <laughs> like talking about. But for a while there, I kind of just, like, conquered it. I've tried to open up about it in the past. And I still remember a quotable moment that people still quote me by. Because I need people to know that, like, mental things are it's scary. My anxiety is very real. And my anxiety slash panic attacks are very real and scary. Um... So yeah, there's no comment of the day. There's no being interviewed by you. There's no PO box. There's none of that in this one. I did not get anxiety for a while, but for, I wanna say about two to three years, I'm gonna say about two years, I just, I couldn't even like leave my house. With I know I'll wake up and I'll feel better. I mean, now that the attack is gone, um, I already feel better obviously, but it's like that rigid, ri what's the word? Residual <laughs> aftermath effects. Um, I don't know if this is, might be triggered by my first therapy appointment. I don't know. So maybe, I don't know. But regardless, I'll be okay. My head just like really hurts. I need to drink some water. I feel a little dehydrated. But I'm gonna go. I hope that you guys enjoyed what this video is worth, I guess. Um, and we'll see you in my next one. When you feel the world is over When you say you feel